Don Keating here, OhioWX.com, Ohio Weather on Facebook, and WBPS 101.9 FM, Cambridge, Ohio, at 15 and 45 minutes past the hour. A lot to talk about this morning, so let's get right to it for your Thursday evening, Friday. National map shows a cold front poised to our northwest. That will make its way down through the Ohio Valley come Friday evening. It'll cool our temperatures off about 15 to 20 degrees, and it will be a little below normal for temperatures for a couple of days, but we will rebound nicely toward the beginning of the work week next week. Now, off the southeastern coast of the United States, take a look at this close-up view. We have, as of 7 a.m. Thursday morning, Major Hurricane Matthew. It is moving to the northwest at 11 miles per hour. It is, uh, it has maximum sustained winds of 100 20 miles per hour at this point in time. You can see this line here in these numbers, three, four, two, one, representative of forecast strengths at those particular times. And you can see off the coast of Florida, Puente Gorta, at one point in time, it is forecast to be a major, major hurricane at uh, category four with maximum sustained winds of between 130 to 135 mile per hour. Of course, hurricane warnings and tropical storm watches and warnings are up along the eastern United States at this point in time. If you, my question is, if you haven't gotten out of here, why? Because this is not a situation to take very lightly. You should continue to monitor that situation throughout the weekend, see how things go. All we can do is hope for the best down there in the southeastern U.S. You notice on that map, landfall is not expected to take place at all. Okay? Doesn't mean it's gonna weaken. I mean, when it is off the coast of Florida, it's just that landfall is not expected to take place at all, and that's going to allow that hurricane to continue to be a major, major storm for quite a while. It eventually, as you can see on that track, will meander its way out into the Atlantic Ocean and possibly just fade off into the sunset. But that can't come soon enough, of course, if you live in that part of the country. Travelers forecast for the state of Ohio for the day on Friday looks like this. Uh, the last day of nice weather expected. These might be the last 80 degree temperatures of the season. Never say never around here, as you know, but we'll have to wait and see. Beautiful day coming up. Boy, get outside, plan some outdoor activities, plan to clean up that uh, yard if it needs cleaned up before the really tough weather comes mid and late fall because eventually, as you know, it will. Daytime highs in the upper 70s to low 80s across the entire state of Ohio on the day Friday. With that in mind, let's take a look at your local five-day forecast. Okay, so it doesn't look too awfully bad once we get rid of that shower activity with the cold front moving through here on what, Friday, Saturday? You know, Saturday mainly is going to be the rain day. And it doesn't look like it's going to be too rainy. So um, you have yourselves a great weekend. Hope for the best for the southeastern U.S. Uh, I wouldn't plan any vacations down there for the next several days. But uh, let's see what happens, all right? Take care. We'll see you next time.